Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking this week at how to handle pace from our opponent, somebody that's just consistently hitting a really hard ball at us. Um, you know, the, the thing we're gonna talk about today is going to the slice. And by going to the slice, I'm talking about the backhand. The reason I'm only gonna talk about the backhand today, you guys, is because as I've already looked at this week, I feel like the forehand side, when somebody's teeing off on us, the forehand side allows for a lot of freedom in terms of going vertical with the follow through or having that buggy whip follow through. And I know if you, you know, watch the pros, you do see Federer, you do see Gasquet, any of these, you know, one-handed guys that's, you know, getting a ball hit with pace, you know, throwing that backswing vertically and up around the body. And yes, we want to play like the pros, but I think even though those guys are capable of that shot, you're still seeing a majority of pros when somebody tees off into their backhand side, they're going to the slice. A couple reasons for this that are really important for you guys to understand. The first being that one of our favorite ideas about handling pace is shortening the backswing. And a slice backhand backswing is more compact than our full topspin backswing. I usually take this back quite a bit farther than I take back my slice backswing. So the fact that it's more compact here improves my ability to time the ball in front of my body. Uh, secondly, and this is probably the reason the pros use this the most is the slice backhand when somebody's really ripping with pace, is that they're slowing the pace of the rally down in order to get themselves really comfortable against a big hitter, by slicing, their ball's coming back over the net slower. So in effect, they're slowing the rally down because a player on the opposite side, if they're consistently trying to wail away off my slice backhand, they're gonna miss before I am. It's not a smart thing for somebody to just tee off time after time against a slower ball. So by hitting the slice and slowing the pace down, you're, you're starting to control this rally where, you know, again, we're talking about handling people's pace this week because a lot of people get flustered and they feel like the opponent is dictating the rally. So use that slice to slow the pace of the rally down. Um, the third thing I have for you guys with the slice backhand, and it, it uh, you know, is, is probably my personal favorite reason, is I love to see players confidently you know, swing through the ball in tough situations. You get a lot of club level players, I'm gonna demonstrate the two-handed backhand here, you get a lot of club level players getting ripped at and they wanna just block the ball. And not that blocking is a bad thing all the time, but it doesn't look as confident to me as somebody who strokes out. And when we go to that slice backhand, simply by the fact that that backswing's a little bit shorter, here comes this pace. I still have the ability very comfortably to have a nice follow through with my backhand slice. That thing just tends to glide out. If I didn't, I probably would not be as effective with my slice. Okay, so let's take a look at that one more time. It's that slice backhand. You guys will see that the backswing's short, but again, so comfortable because I get to release the swing. That's a big positive for all you players that are handling pace to feel like you're swinging out through the ball, not just surviving with really short, short follow throughs. Okay, so handling pace, going to that backhand slice. If you guys once in a while wanna try that vertical move, go for it. I know we see the pros do that, but again, the majority of the time that the pros get teed off into on that backhand side, they play the slice and it's a really, really good option, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was really helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you soon.